Actually, I'm not uh, that certain I would say we are in a broader session. It's GDP figure, figures were negative, as you said, but at the same time, we have record high uh, employment rates. And uh, the latest figures actually show that uh, employment continue to increase. But, but we do see that the, the slogan in the economy is broadening from just uh, consumption and housing construction to uh, export as well. So we do expect the economy to slow down more, but we still have a very strong labor market, so it's a mixed uh, mixed picture still. Um, do you know, when I see house prices down around about 14% and transactions dropping 30%, Christina, with no sign of uh, of that abating anytime soon, I've got to be honest, I'm going to I'm going to stick with the recessionary recessionary concerns as well. Those figures speak to me of, of broader concerns potentially down the line. We know that the accusation was for a long time, and we spoke to many CEOs uh, of, of the eminent banks in Sweden for a long time, that the Riks Bank just wasn't on the right page. They They moved aggressively, but they just moved too late, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, you can always discuss that, of course. I guess all central banks moved too late, and uh, the Riks Bank started to, to high rates in, in April last year, and the ECB was, was even after that. So, But uh, uh, mainly they, they in February, they said they would not increase rates in several years. So, so there they were very much behind the curve, but after they started to increase rates, it's gone fast. But what's uh, different from Sweden, maybe from, uh, from many other countries, is that we are so interest rate sensitive. So households have a lot of, of debt, and also mortgages have a very short, uh, uh, what do you say, we have the variable rates uh, to a very large extent. So that means that uh, the interest rates affects us very quickly. And, uh, and then we also have the real estate sector where a lot of companies also have a lot of debt. So, so that means that the effects uh, probably comes much quicker in Sweden. And that's what we see for household, construct- uh, for, for household consumption, not, not services, surprisingly, uh, but we have seen a drop in, in the consumption of, of goods. And we have also seen housing construction uh, falling rapidly. I mean, that's a huge uh, drop in housing construction. And all these are interest rate sensitive part of the economy. And as you say, house prices did fall uh, quickly, uh, but they actually leveled out in the beginning of this year. And since then, we have instead seen small increases in house prices. You could say it's flat, but it's small increases. But it's very few uh, transactions m- being made, so there is a big uncertainty in what's happening here. Uh, but I would say that a lot of the, uh, at least uh, a lot, a big share of uh, the adaption to higher interest rates have actually been seen in the Swedish economy. We do expect a broadening of the of the downturn, especially the, uh, going into the labor market as well, as we still have such a strong labor market. But but I, sometimes I think it's a bit uh, uh, it's not that bad as it sounds when you when you hear abroad. Uh, sometimes the view oh. of, of Sweden, it's not it's not bad. Uh, we still have very high levels of activity in the economy.